Ma Sera Crecroft yn actores adnabyddus, dan ni wedi gweld i gwaithi er y mil naw wyth deca. Ar y llwyfan, clywed i ar y radio ac ar y sgrin, petha megis rownd a rownd ac amdani i awyr. Sera Crecroft is oh, a wonderful, wonderful actress and she's coming onto this stage to share some of her thoughts and ideas with you this afternoon. Rhoch groeso en y fawr i'r hyfryd Sarah Craycroft. Hello, Bangor. How are you? Right. Um, and then we do Sarah Craycroft. Um, as you may have guessed, it's an English surname because my dad was English and he was a passionate believer in Welsh independence, but um, still supported England. As a baby, I nearly fell off the sofa as my dad was cheering the English football team on so much because apparently they won something in 1966. The point is, no matter where you're born or what your nationality is, if Wales is your home, you can believe you want a better home by supporting Welsh independence. Rangishin vaki me on pentre bachar enu hrid of oil. Dwy filltir o arfordir y gogledd. On i'n lwcus bo mam a nain yn siarad Cymraeg y mo'n chwaer Catrin a fyne. Dos nam lot o Gymraeg ar yr arfordir. But the people I love from Llandidno, Colwyn Bay, Abagala, Rill, all the way to Flint, where my tide was born, love Wales. And they have represented us internationally in various sports. And I'd like to congratulate Jay Jones from Rill, no, from Flint, who has now become, again, the Taekwondo world champion. Yes, Wales can! <laughs> Rhoi mewn ffrindiau i an heili ar yr afordir yn aml yn deud, oh, I love Wales, and I'd love it to be independent, but we just can't afford it. Now, this is when I try to convince them that Wales can't afford not to be independent. <laughs> Ask them, are they happy with the status quo? The Tory and Unionist Party. Do you remember when Liz Truss and Kwasi Kwarteng, they took three billion, not three million, three billion out of the UK economy in 24 hours. And yet ye have the barefaced cheek and audacity to tell us we're too thick, too small, too useless to run an economy for three million people. How dare they? We could nationalize our water. So its profits benefit the people of Wales, not the shareholders of private companies. We need to use the profits from the assets of the Crown Estate, currently 50, 850 million pounds a year that goes to the UK Treasury and the Royal Family. We could use that to fund an industrial green revolution. Who knows? King Charlie, an environmentalist, might be impressed. Unlike Rishi Sunak, who has backtracked on green policies to woo the right-wing climate change deniers. Well, we in Wales would reject that and know that we will build Jerusalem, but in Wales's green and pleasant land. I do have some friends in the Welsh Labour Party who openly support independence. One third of them would vote for independence tomorrow. They now need to encourage others in the Welsh Labour Party to agree with them. And it would be fantastic if the handful of Senedd Labour members who secretly support independence would come out of the closet and declare that they do. The cause of Welsh independence is more important than any political party. And let's be clear, Keir Starmer will not be able to deliver for Wales. He is Tory and Unionist light in the mould of Mandelson and Blair and his illegal war. 
Starmer won't even let his shadow cabinet stand on a picket line with Mick Lynch. And Wales, with her radical past, ranging from Strakefowder Pendring to the Chartist movement to the NUM strike of the 80s, deserves far more progressive governess. But Starmer will always be courting careful policies designed to keep Middle, in middle England on side. Well, we in Wales are not Middle England. We never have been and we never will be. I'm a boy safe or play Cymru and Cato and Ibaniaeth and Vlain Llaw and Iagen Dano. My play Cymru, I'm doing gobeithio now no lynni heb os ac oni bai i'r polisi hwnna yn gyson. Ac os dydi datgynoli ddim yn ddigon, dydi'n senedd ni ddim yn ddigon cryf i wrthsefyll polisia San Stefan sydd mor, mor ni weidioli ni yng Nghymru. Dim ond alibyniaeth neith y tro i wella'n gosanaeth iechyd, addysg yn plant, gofal cymdeithasol ag ymlaen. O'r holl enghreifftiau, o'r ffordd mae datgynoli yn llaf gweledigaeth. Yr un sy'n mynd rhy stai fwyaf fel mam a dynes ydy'r ffaith, bod mamau newydd yn y gogledd sy'n dioddau o'i selder yn gorod teithio i orllewin lloegr i uned yn fana i gael eu triniaeth. What kind of a country with a devolved health service sends vulnerable patients to another country for treatment? It is not good enough. We can do so much more for our citizens through independence. Anibyniaeth. Rhandan i angen hyder a ffydd ar gallu i gyfathrebu efo pob cymuned yng Nghymru. Gobeithio, gewch chi'ch ysbrydoli yma heddiw yn Mangor. I newid hynny ag i ddod a anibyniaeth i'n gwlad. We need confidence and faith and the ability to community, communicate with all our communities in Wales. I hope you've been inspired to do that today here in Bangor. If you like what I've said, my name is Sarah Craycroft. If you didn't, my name is Liz Trust. Annie Bunyaf, independent! <laughs>